Hello, Unbrickme here, and today we will be comparing the two different systems, the LEGO Technic Linear Actuators or LEGO Technic Pneumatics. We will be talking about the history of the two systems, which one has more playability, which one is more practical, as well as my own personal opinion on which system I think is better, pneumatics or linear actuators. The pneumatic system in LEGO Technic was originally introduced in 1984. These pneumatic actuators had just a single tube connected to them, and they would retract upon the application of vacuum. The first LEGO Technic set to really take pneumatics to another level is the LEGO Technic AirTech Claw Rig released in 1992. This LEGO Technic set had a 9 volt motor pumping a constant airflow and you would just control all the different pneumatic actuators using the valve switches. The AirTech Claw Rig was such a wonderful set that it even rivals modern day pneumatic masterpieces like the LEGO Technic Unimog U400 released in 2011 or the LEGO Technic Mercedes-Benz Aurox released in 2015. Speaking of the Mercedes-Benz Aurox, this was actually the set to introduce the Pneumatics 2.0 system. The Pneumatics 2.0 system came with longer pneumatic actuators, the tubes fit much better onto the pneumatic cylinders, and so the Pneumatics 2.0 system really took it to another level, and the last time we got a pneumatic set was back in 2018 with the Forest Machine. Unlike the pneumatic system, the axle-based linear actuators have a much shorter history. They were first introduced in the absolutely legendary 8294 excavator which was released in 2008. This particular excavator used two linear actuators, one for the bottom of the arm and one for the top of the arm. The axles from these linear actuators came down to one gearbox, which was then connected to a knob at the back. The back knob would be directly connected to a driving ring, and so using this gearbox you could have just one knob controlling either the bottom linear actuator or the top linear actuator completely independently and this was absolutely incredible and this set also allowed for easy motorization with the lego power functions accessory box which cost only thirty dollars you could connect a medium motor a switch as well as a battery box so that way the functions of the arm would be fully motorized and you would manually change the functions of the gearbox it was incredibly fun to play with i love the excavator very much in 2011 we actually got the mini linear actuator for the very first time specifically and the 8069 LEGO Technic Backhoe Loader. However, there is actually a third size of the linear actuator, which is the extra long linear actuator, first introduced with the 2019 42100 excavator set. In total, there are only three different variants of the mechanical linear actuator, as opposed to the vast selection of LEGO Technic pneumatic cylinders. So which is better purely for playability? Pneumatic cylinders or mechanical linear actuators? Pneumatic cylinders in LEGO Technic are some of the most fascinating devices ever, as they use air pressure to extend or retract. This air pressure can be applied either with a manual pneumatic pump or a motorized pneumatic pump like in the LEGO Technic Mercedes-Benz Unimog U400. Both of these configurations of the LEGO Technic pneumatic system are extremely fun to play with. For example, if you turn on the motorized pneumatic pump, then you can use a combination of these valve switches to control the entire crane or really anything that the pneumatic system is operating. You can do the same exact thing with a manual pump. Because LEGO Technic pneumatics is so incredibly complex in that you have to have a constant airflow and you also have to control the different functions using valve switching units, there has never been a fully remotely controlled LEGO Technic pneumatic set. This is where mechanical linear actuators come into play. You can extend them and retract them by simply spinning the input axle. They are much simpler to use than LEGO Technic pneumatics, and so as a result we have gotten multiple fully motorized LEGO Technic sets that use linear actuators to their full advantage. However, even with the easy to use fully remotely controlled capabilities of LEGO Technic mechanical linear actuators, the playability aspect of pneumatics is much better than linear actuators. Mechanical linear actuators are very basic. All they use to control the extension of linear actuators is just one single input axle, which is incredibly basic. However, pneumatic cylinders actually use air pressure, which is incredibly fun to play with and gives you a much better insight than mechanical linear actuators into how real hydraulic excavators work in real life. So in my opinion, pneumatics are much better for playability in LEGO Technic sets. But what about the practicality of pneumatic cylinders versus mechanical linear actuators. Mechanical linear actuators have one main practical advantage over pneumatic cylinders. They can hold their position much better. Halfway extended, quarter extended, 70% extended, or even fully extended, they hold their position no matter what, exactly where you want them to. Pneumatic cylinders in LEGO Technic always tend to act as springs, meaning when you push down, say, a crane, 
you can push it down, but then when you release it, it will come back up under the air pressure. Pneumatics in LEGO Technic, unfortunately, due to the leaky cylinders, can't really sustain themselves under high pressure. For example, whenever I want to use this crane to pick up something heavy, most of the air simply leaks out of the pneumatic cylinders, which is not very practical for lifting up heavy objects. This is where mechanical linear actuators are a saving grace. They can lift up pretty much anything, given that the motor connected to them can handle it. So for practicality, mechanical linear actuators get the point here. So the LEGO Technic pneumatic system is much better for playability, but the LEGO Technic mechanical linear actuators are much better for practicality. If you want my personal opinion, I'm gonna say that the LEGO Technic pneumatic system is much better than mechanical linear actuators. They offer you much better playability, and they also give you insight into how real-life hydraulics works which is really incredible in my opinion. The very first LEGO Technic pneumatic cylinders that just had a single tube connected to them are pretty rare, and if you want to learn about the rarest LEGO Technic pieces of all time, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.